Alright, so today we continue with the new chapter, which is the last chapter for this semester, which is chapter 10, which is we have it application of differentiation, which is related with the chapter 9. Okay, so for chapter 10, we have it three subtopic. The first one, we have it extremum point, 10.1 here. And inside the extremum points, we have it three parts. The first one adalah critical points. And then we have to test your nature of points. And then the third one, which is infection points. Okay, and then for the second subtopic, we have it optimization problem, which is we encounter with parameter, area, volume, and cost. And then for the last subtopic, which is rate of change, which is we encounter with chain rule here. Okay, so untuk these two part, issue-nya adalah English. Okay, untuk math, it should be direct. Kita hanya apply uh, chain rule for the rate of change and then optimization problem kita akan uh, apply second derivative test. Okay, so cuma kamu kena faham soalan. Okay. Okay, so we go through for the 10.1 first. Okay, which is maximum points. So hari ni possible kita akan uh, sampai first ataupun second derivative test. Okay, kita tengok macam mana. Okay, so yang ini dah salin dah. Semua dah salin dah. Sebelum saya proceed to the next part. Salin dulu. Okay, all right, shall we proceed? Okay, all right, so we proceed with the 10.1 critical point first, where we have it to find your critical point or we can have it stationary point as well. Okay, so kalau kita tengok pada nota, for extreme points, part one, we have it critical points. Okay, critical points which is we have it the value for x and y by point whenever we have it two condition for the f prime equal to zero or n f prime is not defined. Okay, so kita akan ada dua situasi di mana kita boleh jadi dua-dua kita perlu cari ataupun salah satu sahaja. So yang ini kalau F prime equal to zero only for stationary point. Kalau soalan minta uh, stationary point, kita hanya bagi F prime equal to zero sahaja. But then if the question asks for the critical point, you have to give both. Yang ini perlu bagi, yang ini pun perlu bagi. So untuk F prime is not defined ataupun in another word F prime is undefined, usually this one untuk rational function di mana hx over vx. Okay, so kalau kamu punya fx hanyalah linear, contohnya kita ada x4 plus 3x cube plus 2x square minus 11. Yang ini adalah polinomial yang direct. Dia bukan rational function. So ini hanya akan encounter dengan the first case which is f prime equal to 0. But then kalau kamu punya fx adalah Contoh kita ada x square plus 3 over x minus 2. So yang ini adalah rational function. We will encounter with two cases. F prime equal to 0 and F prime undefined. So untuk undefined, kita hanya consider bahagian bawah. Okay, so kena tengok term apa yang dia minta. Alright, okay. So we go through for the critical number, stationary number. Okay, so kalau dia sebut number, you have to find the value for x. Critical number, dy over dx equal to zero and dy over dx is undefined. But then if stationary number, you only have it for dy over dx equal to zero. Okay, itu kalau number. Number adalah nilai x. Number nilai x, value nilai y. 
point we have it to give in term of coordinate. Okay, so tengok apa soalan minta. Kalau dia minta number, we just have to find the value for x. If the question asks for the value, you have to give the y. And then if the question asks for the point, you have to give in term of coordinate. So kalau soalan minta critical number, we have to give both. If the question only asks for the stationary number ataupun stationary point, you only have it for dy over dx equal to 0. Okay. So that's the overview for finding critical point ataupun stationary point. Okay. So we go through for the example 1. Example 1 where we have it. Okay. Okay. So find the stationary point. So stationary point which is your f prime equal to 0. Okay. Itu sahaja yang kita kena cari. Okay. But then you have another word of stationary point. Dia boleh juga tanya turning point. So nama lain untuk stationary point adalah turning point. Okay. Alright. So in order to find your stationary points, you have to differentiate your y first. So differentiate kita akan dapat 2x minus 3. And then we have it to equal with 0. So 2x minus 3 equal to 0. So you have your x equal to 3 over 2. So sebab soalan minta point, you have to give in term of coordinate. So you have to find your y. So y kita adalah substitute back into the original function. So 3 over 2 square minus 3, 3 over 2 plus 2. So we're going to have your value for y is a negative 1 over 4. So our stationary point which is 3 over 2 negative 1 over 4. Okay, so yang ni kamu tulis pula stationary point. Takut nanti ada yang terbiasa pula ST. Okay, so kita akan differentiate. Equalkan dengan 0, cari nilai X and then kita substitute dalam Y untuk dapatkan point. So kenapa equal to 0 saja? Sebab soalan minta stationary point. Kalau dia minta critical point, you have to give both. But then ini adalah directly uh, polynomial. So dia tak akan wujud uh, undefined. So dia tak adalah dy over dx is undefined. So dia hanya wujud yang ini saja. Okay, so we move to the second example. Which is we have it the y given is uh, 4 plus 5x minus 3x square minus 2x cubed. Okay, so first step, we have to differentiate. Okay, differentiate dulu. So find your f prime. So we're going to have 12 minus 6x minus 6x square. And then in order to find your stationary number, you have to equate with 0. So f prime equalkan dengan 0. So which is negative 6x square minus 6x plus 5 equal to 0. Okay, sebelum factorize, simplify dulu. So you can uh, divide by negative 6. So end up x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0. So factorize dapat apa ni? Korang tolong factorize untuk saya. Berapa dapat? x minus 1, x plus 2. x minus 1, x plus 2. Good. Okay, so end up your x equal to positive 1, x equal to negative 2. So you have to find your y. So when x equal to 1, so y kita adalah 4 plus 12. And then for the x equal to negative 2. So when x equal to positive 1, we have it 11. For the negative 2, we have it negative 16. So give in term of points. So negative 2, negative 16. And then positive 1 and 11. So we have it two points, 
two stationary points since we have two uh, stationary numbers. Okay, example one where we have it to find stationary. All right, okay, noted. So example one, stationary point. And then we move to example two, where we have it to find the critical number and critical values. Okay, so can I Tengok betul-betul, soalan minta critical. So, you gonna have two option for the dy over dx equal to zero and dy over dx is undefined. Okay, so undefined untuk yang ada uh, denominator. Okay, so ini kita akan dapat f prime equal to zero and f prime undefined. So, ini untuk denominator. Okay. So, critical number for the x, critical values for the y. Okay, dia tak minta point, dia minta x dan juga y. Okay, first step. We have to differentiate your y. So, we encounter with the question rule. So, let's say I want to be u adalah 2, v kita adalah x square minus 9. So, u prime kita adalah 0 v prime kita adalah 2x. Okay, so dy over dx will be v u prime. So 0 minus u v prime. So 2 multiplied with 2x and then the whole thing divided by v square. So end up your dy over dx which is negative 4x over x square minus 9 the whole thing square. Okay, itu adalah dy over dx. Then, we need to find your critical number because we have two option. Dua-dua perlu tunjuk. So, the first one adalah dy over dx equal with zero. So, negative 4x over x square minus 9 square equal to zero. So, it end up negative 4x equal to zero. So, your x equal with zero here. So, terus cari nilai y kamu. Masuk balik dalam original function. We're going to have 2 over 0 minus 9. We end up with negative 2 over 9. Okay, so we then the first part here. And then the second option where we have it. Your dy over dx undefined. So, untuk dy over dx undefined, uh, automatically kita akan refer terus pada bahagian denominator. So, your denominator which is x square minus 9 square equal with 0. So, x square minus 9 equal to 0. So, we can factorize x minus 3, x plus 3. So, it end up with two values of x, positive 3 and negative 3. So, you have to find the values for the critical number. So when x equal to positive 3, so substitute your 3 into the original function. So we be 2 over 9 minus 9. So this one should be undefined. Sebab bawah dia adalah 0. And then the same thing for the when we substitute x equal to negative 3. So we be 9 over 9 denominator. It's going to be undefined as well. So we only have it for the x equal to 0 and y equal to negative 2 over 9. Since yang ini tak wujud. Okay, it's undefined. Okay, so ingat critical number ataupun ada word critical ni, dia mesti ada dua option. Yang ini dan ini. So untuk yang ini, kita akan refer kepada denominator. Okay, so that one is for example 2 part A. So we can move to part B. 
which is we have it the fx equal to x square minus 4x over x square plus 9. Okay, so first thing first, you have to differentiate. So first step kita adalah differentiate. So yang ini obviously you have to use your quotient rule. So u kita adalah x square minus 4x. Our v will be x square plus 9. So the u prime will be 2x minus 4. And then the v prime will be 2x. Okay, so your f prime. So v u prime. So x square plus 9 multiply with the 2x minus 4 minus with the u v prime. Okay, and then the bottom part where we have it x square plus 9, the whole thing square. Okay, so bagian atas kita expand one by one. So it's going to be 2x cubed plus 18x minus 4x square minus 36 minus 2x cubed plus. So negative with the negative will be positive 8x square. And then the whole thing divided with the v square. Okay, bagian atas ada apa-apa yang kita boleh simplify ataupun cancel out. 2x cubed. 2x cubed kita cancel out. And then x square kita boleh combine. And then yang tinggal adalah tinggal x. Okay. Ini kita boleh combine. Okay. So end up will be 4x squared and then single x which is 18x and then minus 36 and then the whole thing divided by x squared plus 9 squared. Okay. Itu adalah f prime kita. Okay. And then Second part which is we have to find your critical number for the two option which is the first one dy over dx equal to zero and then the second option which is dy over dx undefined. Mesti tunjuk dua-dua sebab soalan minta critical. Okay. So 4x square plus 18x minus 36 divide by x square plus 9 square so we only have it for the upper part okay yang ini kita boleh uh, simplify dulu sebelum factorize ini perlu bagikan dengan berapa 4 2 okay divide by 2 which is we have it 2x square plus 9x minus 18. Sebab yang ni tak boleh bagi dengan 4. So kamu tak boleh bagi dengan 4. Okay. So we gonna have 2x minus 3 and then we have it x plus 6. So you have it 2 values, uh, sorry, 2 critical number. 3 over 2 and x equal to negative 6. Okay. So find it your y first. When x equal to 3 over 2. So y kita substitute balik dalam original function kita adalah yang ini. x square minus 4x over x square plus 9. And then the same thing for the negative 6. So y kita adalah negative 6 square. Okay, when x equal to 3 over 2, y kita dapat berapa? Anyone? Negative 1 over? 3. Okay. For the x equal to negative 6? 4 over 3. 
Okay, 4 over 3. Alright, so that one for the option for dy over dx equal to 0. But then for dy over dx undefined, so we're going to have your denominator which is x squared plus 9 equal to 0. So as you can see this one, kalau kita pindahkan, dia dapat negative number. So this one is unvalid. Okay, dia tak valid. So sebab tu kita akan come up with the f prime is defined for all x element of real number. Okay, so terus bagi conclusion f prime defined for all x element of real number. So yang ini tak boleh. Invalid. Sebab for x square mesti positive number. But then we have it the negative number which is this one is supposed to be undefined. Okay. Okay, so we only have it two values of y, sorry, two values of critical and two numbers of crit, uh, critical. So kita ada dua x dan juga dua y. So yang ini tak adalah sebab x square plus 9. Kalau x square minus 9, yes, kita akan dapat dua nilai juga. So kalau dua-dua nilai tu wujud, kita akan dapat empat dekat sini. Okay, but then we only have it two here. Okay, so we have it for the example two, done. So now we want to proceed to example three and four. So example 3 which is we have to find critical points as well. So kalau kita tengok pada function, kita hanya ada straight line, kita bukan ada rational function. So it means uh, kita tak perlu cari untuk f prime undefined. Okay, walaupun di sini dia tulis critical point. Okay, so first step adalah cari f prime. Okay, f prime kita dapat berapa? Power pindah depan, power tolak satu. X square minus 8x plus 15. X square minus 8x plus 15. Okay. So second step, we only have it f prime equal to zero. Okay, sebab dia tak ada rational function. Kita tak perlu tunjukkan f prime undefined. Yang ini tak perlu tunjuk. Okay. So directly equal with 0. So x square minus 8x plus 15 equal to 0. So by factorize we're going to have x minus 5, x minus 3. So we have it two values of x. x equal to 3, x equal to 5. So directly we can have it the y by substitute the x into the original function. Maksud dalam original fx bukan f prime eh. Takut kamu tersilap. So 1 over 3, 5 cube. And then for the x equal to 3 as well. Okay, for the x equal to 5, kita dapat berapa nilai y? Lapan puluh tiga per lima. Per lima? Per lima per tiga. Alright. So, 83 over 3. And then for the x equal to 3. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Alright. Twenty nine. Okay. So, since the question asks for the point. So you have to put in term of coordinate. So 5, 83 over 3 and then 3 for the 29. So we have it two critical points. Okay. So we done for the example 3. Now we proceed with the example 4. Okay, example 4 where we have it given the y in term of uh, unknown, we have it a, b and c. Passes through point 0 and 11 and it says that has stationary numbers where x equal to 5 and x equal to negative 3 over 2. So you have to find the values of a, b and c. Okay, so we have it 
in order to find three unknown, you have to come up with three uh, information so that we can have it three equation. Okay, so first step ataupun first information come out from this information. Okay, so you have to substitute 0 0.011 into the original function so that we can have it the variable ataupun the unknown for C. So for 0, 11, substitute into the uh, original function, 11 equal to 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus C. Directly your C equal to 11. Okay, so we can have Y equal to 2 over 3 X cubed. A X square plus B X plus 11. Okay, now it says that has stationary number where x equal to 5 and x equal to negative 3 over 2. So, kena ingat balik, stationary number kita dapat daripada dy over dx equal with 0. So, you have to find your dy over dx and equal to 0. Okay, so kita akan differentiate dy over, uh, differentiate y kita. So, we gonna have 2 over 3, 3 x square. So, we have it 2 x and then b here. So, kalau kita simplify adalah 2x square plus 2ax plus b. Okay, so stationary number. We have it dy over dx equal with 0. So, 2x square plus 2ax plus b equal to 0. So, you already have it x equal to 5 and x equal to negative 3 over 2. So, it's going to be uh, two equation from this information. So when x equal to 5, substitute 5 dalam x. Plus b equal to 0. So we're going to have 10a plus b. So yang ini dapat 50 pindah sebelah adalah negative 50. So we have it first equation. For the x equal to negative 3 over 2. So we're going to have negative 3a plus b. So this one which is we're going to have 9 over 4 multiply with 2 we have it 9 over 3, uh, 9 over 2. So the negative 9 over 2 here. Okay so we do simultaneous for the first and second equation to get the a and b. So 10a plus b equal to negative 50. Negative 3a plus b equal to negative 9 over 2. So minus to get rid the b. So end up 13a equal to. So negative 50 plus 9 over 2 kita dapat berapa? Negative 50 tambah 9 per 2. Negative 91 over 2. Okay. Divide by 13. We can have negative. 7 over 2. Okay, good. Alright, so we already have it the A. So you can substitute into E the one to get the value for B. So negative 3A, negative 7 over 2 plus B equal to negative 9 over 2. So your B is going to be equal with negative 15. So you have it A, you, uh, you have it B, and you have it C. Okay, so basically we done to find critical number ataupun critical point or stationary points. Now, baru kita nak pergi kepada testing. Kita nak tahu nature of points which is either your points adalah maximum ataupun minimum ataupun dia boleh jadi bagi pada inflection point. Okay, so in order to test your point, we have it two methods. First method adalah first derivative test. The second method which is second derivative test. But then untuk 10.2 kita akan terus pergi kepada uh, second derivative test. Okay. So dua-dua kena tahu. Sebab tak semua solution kita hanya fix pada one method saja. Kadang-kadang dia akan pergi kepada another method. 
Okay, all right. So we go through for the method one, which is first derivative test. So bila disebut first derivative test, they encounter with uh, first derivative ataupun f prime. Okay, so we're gonna have f prime greater than zero, less than zero. So ini akan nampak relative maximum. So whenever f prime greater than zero, dia adalah plus. Ini adalah minus. So bila plus minus, kita akan nampak maximum di sini. Okay, and then for the f prime less and f prime greater than. So ini adalah minus, ini adalah plus. So minus plus kita akan nampak minimum di sini. Okay but then if your f prime doesn't have change uh, sign changes so kita akan pergi kepada no relative extremum. In another word dia adalah inflection point. Okay so that's how we do for the uh, determine nature of Sifat point tu di antara dia adalah maksimum ataupun minimum ataupun kita boleh dapat juga untuk inflection point. Okay, so we go through for the step that we have. So ini adalah inflection point kita di sini. Di sini ada plus plus minus minus. Okay, alright so we go through for the step that we have. So first step you have to find your f prime. Cari F prime and then cari critical point. So either you have to give both ataupun either one. And then the third step adalah kita perlu cari uh, ini. Oh this one tak ada. Yang ni table ni tak ada. Saya tersilap tak. Ni tak ada. Okay. So daripada critical point terus pergi kepada test value ataupun table. Kita akan test pada table and then terus bagi pada conclusion. Yang ni kamu padam eh. Third row ni. Dia terus pergi kepada table. Okay, so kita akan apply all these steps into example 5. Kita akan tengok one by one. Okay, cuma saya nak highlight pada bahagian conclusion. So sekiranya kamu punya sign F prime. Test value ni kita akan masukkan nilai ke dalam F prime. So kita tengok positif ke negatif. So kalau sign kamu adalah positif dia akan menaik. Sign kamu adalah negatif dia akan menurun. So Daripada bentuk ini kita boleh tahu dia adalah maksimum. Daripada bentuk ini kita tahu dia adalah minimum. Okay. So kita tengok pada example 5. Okay, example 5 where we have it. Fx given here. And then we have to find all relative maximum and minimum uh, of F. And then we have to sketch the point. Okay. So first step perlu cari F prime. Okay, F prime kita apa? 3x square. 2x, 3x square. 7x minus 6. 7x minus 6. 6. Okay. Right, and then second step, we have to find your critical points. So, you have to equate with 0. So, sebab ini adalah one straight line. Yang undefined tak perlu cari. Just equal with 0. Okay, so 3x square plus 7x minus 6 equal to 0. So by factorize, we can have 3x minus 2 and x plus 3. So we end up with two values, 2 over 3 and negative 3. So cari dulu nilai y kamu. Okay, for 2 over 3, nilai Y kita berapa? Anyone, kira-kira untuk saya berapa? Eight. Eight. Apa it? 2 over 3. Main 2 over 3. 
158 over 27. 158 over 27. Okay, for the negative 3. Sixty-one over two. Sixty-one over two, right? Good. Okay, Sixty-one so over two. Two over three, one five eight over twenty-seven, and then negative three sixty-one over two. Okay, now we have to determine your point. Either it's maximum or ataupun minimum. You have to create a table. Okay, so kita akan buat table. So since we have it two values of x, we're going to have dua palang dekat sini. So yang datang dulu adalah negative 3 and then 2 over 3. Okay, so the first one adalah interval. So negative infinity to negative 3, negative 3 to 2 over 3, 2 over 3 to positive infinity. And then we have it test value sign f prime and then we have it conclusion okay test value in between negative 3 and uh, infinity to negative 3 let's say saya nak letak negative 4 so yang tengah-tengah ni let's say kita letak 0 yang ini kita letak 2 okay so we substitute these three values into your f prime here so 3x square plus 7x minus 6 masukkan negatif 4 kita akan dapat plus masukkan 0 kita akan dapat negatif masukkan 2 kita akan dapat uh, positif okay so positif kita tahu dia menaik negatif kita menurun positif is going up so daripada situ kita boleh tahu ini adalah maksimum ini adalah minimum so di sini point untuk negatif 3 yang ini So negatif 3 adalah yang ini negatif 3 and then di sini which is 2 over 3 this one. Okay so we're going to have to give the conclusion negative 3 61 over 2 will be maximum and then 2 over 3 1 5 8 over 27 will be minimum point okay so that's how we do for the find all relative maximum and relative minimum So daripada situ kita boleh sketch dia. Sebab soalan minta sketching. So we're going to have to sketch. Which is we have it negative 3 somewhere around here. And then 2 over 3. So point kita adalah negative 3, 61 over 2. And then... Maybe somewhere around is a uh, way kita two over three will be so we need to be like this. Okay. Uh, di mana kita ada negative uh, one five eight over two. Yeah, but so maybe somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. Oops. Kita hanya follow je design ni. Okay. So we end up with finding your y-intercept and x-intercept. So y-intercept, kita boleh dapat dengan masukkan zero lah dekat sini. So we have it by it. 
ni adalah 8. So yang ini tak perlu cari pun tak ada masalah sebab kita dah bagi uh, in term of maximum dan juga minimum point. Okay. So ini kalau kita cari dia adalah negative 5.015. Okay, so that's how we sketch. So sketching ni kita hanya ikut kamu punya yang ini. So directly we can have it the sketch, uh, the shape. And then minimum adalah yang ini. Ini minimum kita. Ini adalah maximum kita. Okay. And so padam. Macam tak proper tak asal punya grafik. Okay. Alright. So much better. Alright. So that one for example 5. So first step cari F prime. Equalkan dengan 0 untuk dapatkan dua nilai X and then substitute into your Y to get the points and then we have to test this on the table. So kita tengok uh, yang positif naik, yang negatif adalah menurun and then we have to give your conclusion yang ini Y did sebab ini ada markah. Okay. Alright, so we go through for the next example. Okay, example 6. So far so good guys. Are you okay? Alright, okay. Kalau okay, we can proceed to the next example. Which is we have it. By find the stationary point of the curve. And then determine the nature of those points. So, sama juga wording nature ni. Bermaksud dia nak tahu point kamu maksimum ataupun minimum. Okay, so dia minta stationary points. Obviously, we know that we only have it to show when f prime equal to 0. Okay, so find your f prime dulu. Kita akan dapat berapa ni f prime kita? 2x cube minus 5x square minus 4x plus 3. Okay, 2x cube minus 5x square minus 4x plus 3. Okay, good. Right, and then we have to find your critical, uh, sorry, a stationary number by equate with 0. So, 2x cube minus 5x square minus 4x plus 3. So yang ni saya factorizekan untuk kamu. So we have it x minus 3, x plus 1, 2x minus 1 equal with 0. So we have it two, uh, 3 values of x. So you need to find your y. Okay, cari dulu y baru kita test kamu punya point tu maksimum ataupun minimum. Okay, for the x equal to 3, berapa nilai y kita? Negative 39 over 2. Okay, negative 39 over 2, x equal to negative 1? Negative 53 over 6. Okay, and then last one, Prisca. Uh, negative 497 over 96. Alright, thank you. Okay, so we have it 3 points. 3, negative 39 over 2. Negative 1, negative 53 over 6. And then the third one, half. Negative 49, 7 over 96. Okay, so we need to show which one is maximum, which one is minimum. So kita dah find dah stationary point di sini. So kita dah menjawab ada bahagian ini. 
So now we have to determine. So nak determine kita akan pakai table. So sketch the table. So kita akan add up another column since we have it three points here. A bit longer for your table. So we're going to have bigger palang. Okay, so we have it. The first one comes for the negative one. Negative one datang dulu. Half and then positive three. So negative infinity to negative one. Negative one to half. Half to three. And then three to positive infinity. Okay, so we this one is for the interval. Okay, test value. And then sign f prime x. And then we have it conclusion. Okay, test value. Let's say this one we put negative 2. This one we put 0, 2. And then let's say 4 here. Okay, so substitute into your f prime. f prime yang ini. Okay, so f prime kita masukkan negative 2. Kita akan dapat negative. Masukkan 0, we get positive. Substitute 2, we have it negative as well and then substitute 4, we have it positive. So, kena masukkan betul-betul sebab dia boleh jadi same sign. Dia boleh jadi negative, positive, negative, negative. Ataupun positive, positive, negative, positive. Okay, so kena masukkan betul-betul dalam F1 kamu. Okay, so negative will be going down plus going up, going down, going up. So, from there we can have it, this one will be minimum, maximum minimum. Okay, so for the point negative 1, negative 5, if it's 3 over 6, with the, here we have it 3, 3 negative 39 over 2, this one for the minimum point. And then for the uh, half, Negative for 9, 7 over 96 will be maximum point. Okay, so that's our conclusion. Alright, so I guess that's it for today. So yang lagi satu saya tinggalkan untuk kamu which is example 7. And then next lesson, we proceed with the second derivative test. Okay, so yang ini saya tinggalkan untuk kamu lah. Pembuk eh, example 7. Alright, so that's it for today. Ada soalan tak? Do you have any questions so far? Madam. Yeah. Kalau pecahan tu dia boleh hasilkan macam number perpuluhan yang tu decimal places gitu ngam-ngam tu bolehkah kita kasih convert pergi perpuluhan? Uh, kalau dia dalam bentuk fraction, kita akan tinggal dalam bentuk fraction sebab fraction lagi exact compared to decimal. Tapi kalau kamu kira ngam-ngam tak dapat decimal tu dia dapat uh, sorry tak dapat fraction tu dia dapat decimal yang two points tu then proceed dengan two points tu. Okay madam. Alright, okay. Ada lagi? Okay.